Acids and bases are some of the most familiar and ubiquitous chemical compounds in our daily lives. Acetic acid is the main component of vinegar, and citric acid is what make, makes lemons sour. While bases are a little less well known, baking soda is a common base in the kitchen, and ammonia is a base used in cleaners. There are three common definitions of acids and bases, the Arrhenius, Bronsted-Lowry, and Lewis definitions. All three definitions are based on the chemical behavior of compounds. That is, acids and bases are defined by the way they react. Each definition is somewhat broader than the earlier ones, and we can represent them in a nested fashion like this. Arrhenius acids donate a proton, H+, to whatever they react with, while Arrhenius bases provide a source of hydroxide ions. Bronsted-Lowry acids are also proton donors, but the Bronsted definition of bases is a bit broader than the Arrhenius definition. A Bronsted base accepts a proton from the compound it reacts with. The broadest definition, which encompasses the Arrhenius and Bronsted-Lowry definitions, is the Lewis definition, which focuses on electrons rather than protons. Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors, while Lewis bases are electron pair donors. Regardless of the definition you're using, Acids and bases are defined by their reaction with each other. An acid is an acid because it reacts with a base, and vice versa. Because of this, I think it's very helpful to think of acidity and basicity as actions. A molecule is an acid if and when it donates a proton or accepts an electron pair. A molecule is a base if and when it accepts a proton or donates an electron pair. We can illustrate these types of acids using chemical equations. Arrhenius acids are molecules that contain a covalent bond between hydrogen and another atom or group of atoms. We usually abbreviate them as HA. Arrhenius bases are ionic compounds that contain a metal cation and one or more hydroxide ions. The metal ion is a spectator ion. It doesn't do anything. When Arrhenius acids and bases react, the proton from the acid reacts with the hydroxide to make water, leaving behind A- and the metal cation, a pair of ions known as a salt. Bronsted-Lowry acids are no different from Arrhenius acids, so we can abbreviate them the same way, HA. But Bronsted-Lowry bases don't have to be hydroxide, though of course OH- is an example of a Bronsted base. Since there are many more options, we just abbreviate them as B. Note that this does not mean boron, even though that's also represented by a capital B. When they react, a proton is transferred from the acid to the base. HA and B become A- and BH+. With Lewis acids and bases, things look a little different. The acid doesn't necessarily need to have a proton at all, so we'll just call it A. The base by definition, must have a pair of electrons, a lone pair, so we'll abbreviate, we'll abbreviate it B with a lone pair. When they react, the base donates its lone pair to the acid, making a new bond between them. The product is A bonded to B. To give us a bit more information about how these reactions take place, that is, precisely how the electrons move, 
we can illustrate the bond making and bond breaking using a convention called the curved arrow formalism. A curved arrow begins at an explicitly drawn pair of electrons, like the lone pair on a Lewis base, and goes to an atom that can accept those electrons, like the Lewis acid. A similar curved arrow can be used for the Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction. A new bond is formed between B and H, and the electrons in that bond came from the base donating a pair of electrons to the hydrogen, while the bond between H and A simultaneously breaks, and those electrons remain with A. And finally, we can see that the Arrhenius acid-base reaction is just a specific case of the Bronsted-Lowry reaction, in which the lone pair is on hydroxide. In Chemistry 202, we'll never discuss Arrhenius acids and bases, because they're just a specific subset of Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. But we will talk about both Bronsted-Lowry and Lewis acids and bases, and we'll usually discuss them separately. The majority of our discussions will be on Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases, and you'll learn about them in more detail in the next several videos.